Okay, welcome guys again to this second session of ours. So now we are on uh, the eTeams uh, application or uh, the eTeams uh, portal, the way it is. So this is uh, how it looks. So on my end, I'm going to log in and uh, basically guide you guys on how you're supposed to do some transactions in there. So I just click uh, management there. Uh, of course, uh, my details will I'll be required to fill in my details at that point. So I'm just going to fill it. So on my end, uh, I'm going to fill in my details. So basically I'm having Then I'm going to insert my password, of course. Then, hola, I log in. So after logging in, basically now this is my account. I've literally logged in uh, at this point. So uh, ideally, this is just an environment that I'm having because I'd uh, created or it will be upon the duty of the admin to literally give access to whoever that will be using these items. And how will you give this access? This is a procedure. So once you've logged in as an admin, uh, in this case, I just come to basically environment then users. So this is a point where you can create uh, probably the user of uh, your account, which is uh, your items. If at all you want to put your accountant, if at all you want to put probably a uh, controller, it is upon you to do that. And how will you do that? In this case, these are the options where how you can add uh, the admin. Maybe you can always give the admin uh, their code. Maybe in this case, uh, maybe I'm having say like uh, 000, say like uh, 003, the admin username. Maybe you can have now uh, say uh, Fred. Fred, you're giving Fred which uh, role? Teller, auditor, accountant, or admin. Maybe I want to give this person maybe as an accountant. Being an accountant, basically, you give the password that this person will be using. You create the phone number that this person will be using, basically, in relation to the same. Then, at this point, you give this person the rights. Maybe if uh, the person is uh, supposed to give Z report, it will be upon you to give that person access. Sales report, adjusting our inventories, customer. All these are the details that you can basically give that uh, user, the one that you've created. So this is how you can uh, create your user. Once you're done with creating your user and basically the rights that you've given this person, the next step that you need to do, just come and do it, just come and save. So once you've saved, literally, it is going to create this user. And this user basically can always log in using the credentials that you have, that you have created. So to this point, we can go back to our transaction. So I'll just click back. Then, of course, I do yes. So now, the first procedure, once you've created your user, this is how it will be. Number one, you have to create. Number one, you have to create your items. Okay? Items management, that is uh, how to create your items. After you've created your items, you also have to create your customer. After you've created your customer, maybe you can go to basically uh, sales, creating now the invoice. But the first step is create the products that you're having. Create the products that basically you're going to sell. And that is what you're going to do here. So first thing first, let us do that. Let us do that. Let us do that. So these are what uh, we are going uh, to basically do. So you come on uh, creating the item. So I'll just click item management, item. Mm -hmm. Literally, it will uh, give me these details. All these details is going to give me all these details. So already I created my items in my account. I created some of my items. So these are what we need to do. I want us to create like uh, one item and see how it will be. So. Uh, what you need to do, the item code. 
We are having class code. These are the most important items on ETIMS. So you start with the aspect you do with the class code. So you do class code. This class code basically it is based on the universal items recognized, of course, under UN. So literally, these are where you can get. You can literally get uh, all these codes, assuming that uh, you don't uh, have uh, the codes. You can literally get this on, uh, of course, the UNSPSC code list. So this is how you can go. This is how you can check it out. Let me go to our browser. You just do UN. Mm -hmm. You can do basically you see the UN SPSC code list. You can literally go to that point, then you the second one here. You can basically do that. This now you are going to insert the code based on the industry that you are in because this is a code that will literally, will literally guide us on uh, the portal here. So maybe in this case, maybe uh, you are in uh, which industry? Say manufacturing. Manufacturing, maybe. I mean manufacturing. Do you have that such a code for manufacturing? Let us see what it will give us. Yeah, it will give us various code here. Yeah. It will give us various code. So what are you manufacturing? Or are you in a uh, hotel industry? maybe hotel because this is a code that will literally guide us on what you're supposed to input there and that is i know where the challenge would be for many for majority of the guys will be using items so you see literally you can just have any industry assuming maybe um uh, uh do you have a safety industry let's just check it we're just checking it out yeah uh, safety maybe uh whichever industry that you are in literally you're going to get it here literally you're going to get the code here so uh, maybe in this case maybe assuming i am in manufacturing so basically i'm just going to manufacturing once again manufacturing and on manufacturing i can get say like a specific code maybe i'll just pick a code this is just for the purpose of demonstration. Then I'll come and check here if at all I'm having search. On this drop down, come and start with level one. Search if at all I'm having search code. So I don't have such a code in level one. I don't have, uh, let us see, level two. I don't have such a code. Level three, do I have the art code? I don't have the code. Level four, I don't have the code. Level five, I don't have a code. In such an event, what are you going to do? You can do manufacturing here. Let us try check. Manufacturing. We start with level one, see what we love. Search. Level two, no. Level three, so you literally have to search to see which, if at all, it would give us a case. Level four, no. Level five, I don't have a code name for manufacturing. Uh, what can we try? Let us try product. Basically, this will purely depend on the industry that you are in. This will literally depend. You just kind of uh, check a key item. Yeah, I'm having a product in... Uh, I'm having product in level 2. Let us see if I'm having product in level 3, 2. I don't have... I had product in level 3. So once, just get what will guide you. Like if I'll troll your manufacturing product, uh, this I can use these product and materials trailers. So this is a code that I'm going to use. 
So where I'm having an highlight here, I just click that. Uh, we had that level three, right? So this is what let us have weird that product. Uh, we had product in level three, I think. Mm -hmm. So that is level four. You just pick so long as it has picked, maybe you can. Uh, do that then of course it has picked there then of course you can confirm or like in our case where we had a uh, our product here and us to use product i don't know it is not it is a product within level three when we searched product we had mm -hmm. no worries it will give us that title but literally this is the most important area that you need to basically understand so once we have that, what we can literally do, you can just confirm. So after you, after you have confirmed, you can clearly see that now I'm having what? I'm having an item here. I'm having an item code. But number, no need of it now. Where are you selling this product? Maybe I want to sell this product in Kenya. So just do Kenya. You click, you confirm type item, finished goods, raw materials or a service, maybe it's a finished goods. How do you measure the finished goods? Literally you can go with the flat one, which is net. Net, probably I'm having say like uh, whichever number that, uh, maybe I can have number pair pieces. You can do number, for example. Are you maintaining any stock? If yes, you click uh, the sales inclusive of VAT. In this case, what you must be very familiar with is that any item or any pricing that you should be having here, the price should always be inclusive of VAT. So I literally do all these items. And once I'm done with these items, basically, I can come and do new because it is a new product. So if you click new, you'll find that the system will auto-generate for us the system will auto generate for us the item code. And this is the item code that now I'll be using for this product all through my system. This is the item code that I'll be using in my product all through the system. So once I'm done with that, what you can literally do, you can just do what to save. So once you've saved, the items will appear, the items will appear here. The items will appear at this point, the items will appear at that point. So once you're done with that, you just close. Now you've inserted your product items. Then the next step is to insert your customers. So how do you go about your customers? So you're going to go to uh, basically customer management. So let me click customer management. Once I've clicked customer management, basically you can see insurer or customer. So I need customer. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to click uh, customer. After I've clicked customer, this is what will appear here. So once it has appeared here, basically, I can either select whom I want, if it is at all uh, individual or non-individual, assuming maybe I can talk of maybe individual, for example, here, uh, say A009212, M, name maybe is a, are lead and associates, for example, are lead and associates. Bank, if at all I'm having the bank details, of course, I can put my bank details here, maybe uh, KCB, for example. Address number, I'll put my address number. Nationality, very important. I'm dealing with uh, this company, probably is uh, basically a Kenyan company. So I just do Kenya, search Kenya, confirm. I'm filling all these details here. Email address, maybe I'm having uh, Arilid Associates, Arilid Associates, .co .ke. Yeah, account, I can have account. Phone number, I can literally have a phone number there. 
<coughs> maybe 07080688.1 yeah, you can fill all these details. Once I'm done with filling all these details, I can just click save. And uh, note an email, uh, basically, mm -hmm, Avid Associates, maybe, uh, or rather that early lead at gmail.com. Then I can just click save. Do you want to save this customer? I can just do yes. So what you'll find that uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to yes, so that case I have saved this customer for hours here. These are our customer that uh, we have saved. Probably I realize that maybe I made a mistake. Of course, you can always tend to do what you can. Always, we can always tend, of course, to basically uh, delete this customer if at all I realize that maybe I made a mistake. But ideally, this is how you can literally create a customer. Then the next step, of course, after I'm done with the inventories, I'm done with the customer, the next step will be to make these sales by creating now your sales invoice. The beauty part with uh, creating customers and uh, as well as uh, creating our creating our products is a one-time item. It's like the way we normally tend to do with our normal system. But once I'm done with that, things will be very easy. What I need to do, I'll just go back here. Uh -huh. I literally go back to this point and I can now decide to do my sales management. So the next video will be to show you guys how to do the sales management. Actually, we're going to look at all these items. So to this point, guys, let us meet in the next uh, session where I'm going to guide you how to do the sales management. To that point, thank you guys. See you next time.